Joanna Orr. I'm from a company called Head On Design, where we add a touch of Africa to everyone's homes by creating a wall decor, mostly African animal heads, uh, which send a very cheeky but clear message, a very real message that we don't need to shoot our wildlife in order to appreciate and adm admire them on our wall. The way that we started uh, Head on Design, um, an interesting story which I don't tell very often, but about 10 years ago um, I had, uh, well, I was dating a hunter and I'm a vegetarian and so I made him a housewarming gift, um, it was an ironic gift that uh, um, it started off with the kudu head and it was a surprise um, but he never got it because we broke up before I finished making it. And at the time I was working in a creative studio, I was a graphic designer and um, somebody said to me, well why don't you make them? So I made another kudu head and then from there on I made the rhino, the elephant, the lion, the buffalo, the nguni. And uh, it's just grown from there. And I do a lot of, um, not just decor now, but I do uh, smaller items for gifts. I do uh, large scale installations. I uh, do corporate gifts, uh, make um, bespoke pieces for events, so it has just grown from strength to strength. And uh, with that I um, have a very strong message that we need to take care of our wildlife and our natural resources. And so we've done a lot of work um, trying to make the public aware how um, we should appreciate our wildlife and making them aware of poaching about loss of habitat and most of my products are made from either recycled or natural and sustainable materials. Over the years I've collaborated with um, artists, photographers, we've held fundraising exhibitions, um, uh, also to create this awareness around conservation and with um, the sale of a lot of my products, uh, proceeds go towards um, various conservation organisations. The technique that I um, use is basically flat planes that slot into each other to create the, the whole form. And um, I did it starting with um, basically chopping up a, a, a wine box, so pieces of cardboard. But um, then I learned very quickly that I needed to do it um, um, differently. So I started with sketches and from there I um, produced uh, small paper models. And once you've got the paper model right, then you can blow it up. Um, to, the, to the bigger size. Um, huge challenges because I didn't know really what, what to do. Um, uh, it was a unique product. Um, it took a long time to develop the first one. Um, it needed, uh, I needed capital, I needed money to be able to do that, to experiment, to work with different materials, to how to things get, get cut. Um, you know, how to package them. So yeah, initially it was a, 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 quite a process and um, once I got the kudu right, then I moved on to the elephant and the rhino and now I can literally create a new animal head within, within a week or so. Um, and um, yeah, which helps me with, uh, with this bespoke project. Um, somebody says I need a three meter tall giraffe um, I can do that and it literally flat packs and, um, and you ship it off which makes it quite easy. So over the years um, I've met a lot of people who have appreciated the work. Um, many of them are tourists so they come from worldwide and they've had a wonderful game experience, um, game watching and they want to take a piece of that Africa home with them. So, they really appreciate the, the, um, and the fact that it's a green product as well. Um, I've worked a lot with interior designers, I've worked a lot with architects, um, with large corporates um, who need the large scale installations um, and most people appreciate the fact that I'm using recycled cardboard or sustainable materials. So there have been challenges along the way, um, certainly financial challenges, marketing challenges, um, I've uh, started with a, a design background but then you need to apply that all to creating this business, making it work, hiring people, um, um, meeting demand, um, getting your product out there. Um, so yeah, it has been quite a challenge but I, I can honestly say that I've learned a lot along the way. 
I've had quite a bit of help along the way. It's, it's, um, it's not easy to ask for help, but when you do, you realize that there are people out there who um, are really wanting to help. And um, I've uh, done a couple of courses, business courses, but um, they can be quite expensive. And I, and I find that um, I've had a lot of help from the, the CDI. I've done a, a, quite a few of their courses there. Um, the, how to read financial statements, how to price your product. Um, they've helped take photographs for me for my, for my website. Um, I have been very fortunate to be a part of um, some of their trade show campaigns um, where I've been to um, Sarkta, which is a local trade show, and um, CDI do an amazing job with the stand and they help you right from the beginning to how to get yourself ready for the trade show all the way through to um, taking your orders and then making sure that these people become repeat customers which is what keeps your, sustains your business, it's very important. And um, I've also been a part of um, the Next 19 trade show which is an international trade show. Um, held here in Cape Town, which was a wonderful opportunity to meet um, the international um, database. One of our success stories is uh, a collaboration. I have collaborated with Sharon Bunzai, who's an artist, and she has been painting the animal heads. So she's painted quite a number of the, the kudus and the elephants and the, even the nguni bull. Um, and she creates them uh, with themes that are typically African, um, Afro-chic and uh, quite beautiful and unique. And she finishes them off with gold leaf. And we have recently um, had them exhibited in, in Germany with the Travelling Art Gallery and they sold out, uh, they were very well received and we are happy to continue this range and to make sure that they are continue to be unique and special and, and wonderful.